Tessa Bentulon with your News in 90. Gainesville's election for mayor and city commissioners will be looking a little different come 2022. Gainesville's election for mayor and city commissioners will now coincide with statewide elections in the fall instead of being held in the spring. The hope is that it will increase voter turnout since registered voters will already be voting when they go to the polls. City Commissioner Harvey Ward says this is a chance for a more personal buy-in to city elections. In 2017, only 11.9 percent of voters submitted a ballot in the city election, compared to the 73.6 percent of voters who participated in the November 2016 general election. A former Marine has been identified as a shooter that killed 12 people at a California bar very late Wednesday night. 28-year-old Ian David Long opened fire at a borderline bar and grill in Thousand Oaks with a 45 caliber Glock handgun. According to a Ventura County Sheriff, the bar was filled with college students participating in a college country night. Long first shot a bouncer before opening fire inside and then proceeding to kill himself. Sheriffs say the Marine veteran has a history of run-ins with police, and they do not know how many shots were fired or whether the gunman reloaded during the attack. The Florida governor's race faces a potential recount as it finished with closer results than expected. All eyes were on Democratic candidate Andrew Gillum today after thousands of votes remained untallied. As of this afternoon, Gillum gained on Republican candidate Ron DeSantis by over 4,000 votes. Thousands of ballots still remain uncounted, and Florida's 67 election supervisors must send their unofficial numbers to the state by Saturday. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.